So, before we get into the main topic of today's video, I want to talk about something kind of exciting, but also kind of stinky first. So, I have been grinding YouTube for a long time, and as of yesterday, I have officially hit monetization. I have done it. I, I have passed the 4,000 watch hours, I had got the 1,000 subscribers a little while ago, but that 4,000 watch hours was my goal, and I finally smacked it right in the nuts. And then YouTube, this morning, just look at this. They made it so you only need 3,000 watch hours, 500 subs, and three valid public uploads. Ah! So, that's a wonderful decision. YouTube, you are chef's kiss. You're doing perfect things for your site. I'm just jealous. <laughs> because, the, like, I could have easily been the last ever YouTuber to get YouTube monetization with the old requirements. It was last night! I hit it last my voice is cracking because of how passionate I am about this. Come on. And <laughs> that's fine. You know, I'm not I'm not actually it's all ironic. Um but of course, when we have sites making good decisions like YouTube, we have to have the antithesis of that, which is Twitch. Um we've seen a few videos recently about how Twitch has been making poor decisions for their site, but why don't we amp it up a little bit and actually have the staff personally bully a streamer? Um, this was shown last night on Harris Heller's stream he posted on Twitter, and, uh, we're gonna dig into that today in this video, because, of course, why not Twitch dig its grave deeper? Oh my goodness, it's painful to watch, it's like watching a car crash in slow motion. But anyways, yeah, enough of me talking in this intro, let's get into the actual meat of this video. Thank you guys for being here. Don't forget to subscribe, maybe? Maybe subscribe for me and uh, maybe like as well and I'll see you in the outro of this video and also the next part I'm kind of the whole video <laughs> So here's the tweet that kind of started it all So first we had Ted Ward tweeting a twitch staff member came into Harris Hellers stream and harassed him for almost 10 minutes Harris tried to ban him, but you cannot ban staff on your twitch chat, which that's a whole other Basket of monkeys. Is that a saying? That's pretend that's a saying that we're gonna dig into later, but um then Harris retweets it and says, hey guys, yeah, this is super weird. My social anxiety was high, blah, blah, blah. I shut down the stream and instead went out to play with my daughter. 10 out of 10 would recommend. As I said last video, yeah, touching grass, kind of epic. I highly recommend it if anyone hasn't tried it yet. But um, yeah, I want to play this video. I want to show you guys a bit, a taste of what has happened to this guy. And this is actually live, by the way. The, this stuff he's putting here, this is this was done completely live and he just edited in the, the like, comments afterwards so that we could see it all spliced together in a nice sweet little little sweet roll what am i saying just get into the video i love you but i would also love to talk to you one-on-one -on -one, one time the but is that i think you have a lot of good ideas but you're missing so much no is saying you're wrong about anything maybe is that no one is that a typo no one's saying you're wrong about anything you just have so many assumptions that are way off no one's saying you're wrong about anything you just have so many assumptions that are wrong <laughs> i don't understand those two sentences going side by side First of all, starting things off, what what is this dude saying? Like, I don't know. I, I Being a staff member, I feel like you're kind of held at a certain, like, echelon of the site. You need to kind of be, like, respected. But at the same time, you should be respectable. And right now, he's giving off the vibes of a 12-year-old loft in a Walmart. Like, this is not a good look, starting things off. But, yeah, let's keep it going. I mean, I love, I love you guys over at Twitch. No hate over here, but... We're all frustrated and honestly coming into a stream and saying, sorry, man, you're wrong. Doesn't fix anything. I'm happy to be told I'm wrong. I'm not upset about it, but I know a lot of people making assumptions are making wrong guesses. Talk to people, be open about stuff and fix stuff. Again, this man is spitting. Harris is spitting. I love him so much. He he's saying all the things that we have been saying for days and he's making very valid points. And this staff member is just goofing on him. Like, what is going on? How can you be so incredibly immature? It's so, like, what is dude doing? Who, do not let this man ever cook. Not saying you're wrong. Not saying you're wrong, but then a minute and a half ago, you said you just have so many assumptions that are way off. How do you say I'm way off, but then you say I'm not saying you're wrong? That's what that said. And I'm happy to be wrong, but if you think I'm wrong, just tell me I'm wrong. Don't tell me I'm wrong and then say I'm not saying you're wrong. As you know, Twitch's favorite slogan, Gaslight, Girl Boss, and Gatekeep. Um, I'm dumbfounded, and we're not even halfway through the video yet. I, I don't even know how to fathom 
that a an official staff member like if if imagine you in this situation official staff member comes into your chat and of course harris is he averages around like i think 500 600 viewers maybe around the hundreds so having an official staff member in your chat i'd be ecstatic i'd be like oh my god twitch official man the big man the big bucks and they just start being mean especially when you're talking about the site in a way that you wish it could be better and not like i hate twitch twitch is ass i don't ever want to use the site again but no he's he's being a good person he is talking about ways he wishes the site would improve and this dude's just like you're wrong do the roar anyway we got to keep going let's, let's continue this Seth. I don't understand why we're having this conversation. If, if Twitch is trying to fix its, its, how it, its appearance with streamers, like you can't come into a streamer's chat, hijack their entire stream, tell them, you didn't say the word wrong, but you said your way off, which is a, synonymous with you're wrong and then argue with me when i said i'm fine with being wrong said nobody told you you're wrong you literally told me i was wrong i'm okay wait let me let's go big screen i'm honestly kind of confused as to what the twitch staff members kind trying to argue right now like he's saying he, he came in uh, like like being a little piss baby about how hair like he's harris is wrong about the ways that twitch is doing bad but then also says you're not wrong so what what is your point? Why are you still chatting? <laughs> he he is talking. He is the dude talking to the brick wall right now. Like like what is going on? I I cannot fathom the point he's trying to make. Let's just keep keep it going because it only gets worse. I love Twitch. Stop telling me you didn't say. I have I have a chat history. <laughs> We saw that you said that. And again, it's fine. Like I'm trying to drop the conversation. It's just weird that now you're like hijacking my chat and making this weird. Like I wanna end my stream right now because I feel so uncomfortable with being gaslit by a by Twitch chat, by Twitch staff on my live stream. Like what is happening here? I just banned him. <laughs> Wait. He thought it was that easy, didn't he? I can I not ban you? I hit the ban button and then you chatted again anyway. Can you, you cannot ban staff. Oh my gosh. You tried to ban me? Of course I tried to ban you, anybody. This comment, this, the video's over, so we're gonna end it here, but this comment right here sent me through the ceiling. I flew through the ceiling like a superhero discovering he could fly. What was happening there? You tried to ban me? Wow. What do you mean, wow? What do you mean, World of Warcraft? I, he was being a, a doofus. In his chat, and what did he expect was gonna happen? It was so incredibly goofy and silly. Oh my goodness. I usually record these videos in little segments of one minute. This is a six minute recording. I have been... What a goofball. I... And, oh my god. Oh, but wait. You thought it couldn't get worse. He deleted every message he's ever sent in Harris Heller's chat. Like... Twitch throwing has been a viral sensation for the past few weeks, and he thought that doing a stupid thing as an official Twitch staff would just get sweeped under the rug. Like, it's streamed. It is recorded. Like, it is archived on the internet. What did he think was going to happen? What a goober, dude. What an absolute goofball. It's just such a goofy concept. I mean, it's, it's so disappointing to see, like, a site that you use so often and care a lot about just keep making bad choices like make one good choice you stinky purple app i swear i i, I see like i see sites that have straight up illegal stuff on them make better decisions than twitch <laughs> speaking of illegal sites actually another fun announcement soap today which some of you might know as a way to acquire movies um in a same manner that a pirate would um has officially gone down forever that's another funny little announcement to add on to the end of this video because the internet is collapsing it's ah <laughs> because i mean yeah like reddit's exploding twitch is making bad decisions twitter is a mess and soap today's gone discord has been making some iffy decisions lately i haven't really made any videos on that though but it's just what is going on like, we need a conspiracy theorist on this. Are all the CEOs tired of working? Do they want to go just retire on their mega yachts? What is... Make it make sense, internet. Um, 
But anyway, I want to hear your input on this. What are your thoughts on the current situation? I want to hear some comments. Hear them? I want to hear them, yes. L let me see some comments about what your thoughts are on these sites. Are you angry? Are you going to be switching sites if you make content? Uh, who knows? There's so much to think about and a lot to unpack from this video today. Sorry it was a more serious video. I just woke up, so I didn't have many vo um, jokes preloaded into my brain, but... Thank you guys for being here, and as always, adios, arrivederci, goodbye, and don't stop making content. <laughs>